How loud is too loud? Experts agree that continued exposure to noise above 85 decibels over time will cause hearing loss. Sound waves are collected by the auricle or outer ear and sent to the auditory canal, tympanic membrane, ear bones, and then to the cochlea where the vibrations are changed by the organ of corti to nerve impulses and transmitted by the auditory or cochlear nerve to the temporal lobe of the brain for interpretation. Dr. Brookhauser is director of the Boys Town National Research Hospital and Center for Hearing Research in Omaha, Nebraska. If a sound really gets loud enough, it can produce sort of a, sort of a floating sensation. And if you get a loud enough sound coming in through the stapes, a little foot plate, the stirrup bone that everybody remembers from, from science class, and they move that adequately, it can cause ripple effect or movement of fluid throughout the entire system, enough to make you feel like you're having a little bit of a high, that you're a little dizzy. And I think some of the people that get exposed to the very, very loud sounds, like in boom cars and things like that, are actually experiencing sort of a sort of a bit of a high in addition to the to the hearing. Whatever caused us to suddenly become enamored of very loud music, I think is, has been something that we've delivered to our own children now because we all grew up with it, and now they're listening to it as well. The golden oldies, maybe the golden dangerous oldies, if we can have them played at uh, 120 dB. <laughs>